Chapter 1. You are listening at FameTV.com. Chapter 1, Reborn to 10 Years Back, Speckles of Sunlight Spilled Through the Window, Causing Jing Yunzhao's Eyebrows to Scrunch Up. Her eyes slowly opened, and as she rose, she felt a pang of pain in her head. When she caught sight of the long tresses that fell from behind her ears, she paused, dumbfounded. Was someone fucking with her again? Long ago, weren't these long locks of hers cut off by Chiao Hongya? Why were they still here? The air exuded a faint, pleasant fragrance. Jing Yunzhao turned her head and saw a bowl of porridge on the table. However, what she saw with just this turn of her head struck her dumb. Her eyes fell on a clean bedroom. She could see her favorite vase on the table, complete with stumps of lucky bamboo sitting in it. She also saw the blue gauze blanket laid out across her bed. Although the things in the room weren't worth much, they were all she owned during what she had believed to be the happiest time of her life. The panic-stricken Jing Yunzhao grabbed a nearby mirror with shaking hands. The reflection in the mirror was both familiar yet foreign. The face was indeed hers, but it was her from years ago. No, it can't be. She has been reborn. Everything from the healthy and youthful skin on her face to the calendar hanging on the wall. Everything was telling her that her thoughts were right. This was 10 years ago. She's only 15. She clenched her fists. Everything in her past life seemed like nothing but a nightmare she'd never forget. It had long since been engraved into her heart. Whenever she thought about what had happened, Jing Yunzhao's heart trembled. After some time had passed, she finally got out of bed and opened the door. She saw a bunch of familiar faces in the living room. As she saw the faces of her enemies, her blood began to boil. There were four people were sitting in the living room. Two adults and two children. They were her mother Yi Qin, her stepfather Chiao Weiman, and a pair of fraternal twins. Chiao Hongya and Chiao Zizhou. In her past life, she had believed that Yi Qin was her biological mother but she found out later that she was only a baby Yi Qin had found and adopted. Her surname, Jing, was the Chinese character that was carved on a piece of jade found on her. Yi Qin had always been good to her, but that was only when she wasn't fighting with Chiao Hongya and Chiao Zizhou. In regards to her stepfather, Chiao Weiman, Jing Yunzhao could only feel disgust and hatred. In her past life, an incident happened around this time when Yi Qin finally succumbed to her illness and passed away. All this did was make her even more of an unwanted bastard in the household. As Chiao Weiman was a man driven by his lust, he did not hold back. After his wife had passed away, he began to touch Jing Yunzhao inappropriately. Because she was young and scared, she was too afraid to report him and could only do her best to avoid him. She thought that if she entered college, she'd be able to escape from this monster. But she didn't think that the thought of letting her continue her schooling had never even crossed his mind. He used his position as her legal guardian to force her to quit school. After this, he made her cook and clean for his family. Even though she had spent five years living in fear at that house, she never gave Chiao Weiman what he wanted, T slash N. He wanted sexual intercourse. Nevertheless, Chiao Weiman's thoughts and desires were eventually discovered by Chiao Hongya. She spread rumors of Jing Yunzhao seducing her own stepfather, ruining her reputation. Every time she went outside, people would point and gossip. The year she turned 20, she met an old classmate. The classmate chased passionately after her, T slash N, romantically not literally, and made the matter big enough for the whole town to know. She understood her position and situation, so she had never even planned on accepting him. However, Chiao Weiman still didn't forgive her. One night, Chiao Weiman was consumed with rage and couldn't hold it in anymore. He finally laid his hands on her. During that night of resistance, Jing Yunzhao accidentally killed him. It was a clear case of self.defense, but Chiao Hongya and Chiao Zizhou turned white into black and black into white, T slash N. It means they altered the truth, and Jing Yunzhao was sentenced to jail. After she was jailed, the person who had been chasing relentlessly after her told Jing Yunzhao that he had never liked her. He had only chased after her because he wanted to stimulate Chao Hongya. The only person he had ever liked was Chao Hongya. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.